rather dreary day out here in the backwoods today, which is what we want. It's good, because you think of a bivy, you think of a tarp, but that's not what we're about today. Not at all. We do have a tarp and we do have a bivy, but the bivy is going to be out here exposed to the elements for this upcoming rainstorm. This is the Dutch Army hooped bivy rain test. Military surplus, Dutch Army surplus, the Dutch have some of the best gear in the world. So let's take a look at the specs and features of this bivy. When folded up for storage or transport, it's around the size of a one litre bottle and weighs in at around 1.5 kilograms, including the pole. The Dutch Army hoop bivy measures in at 87 inches in length. Foot width approximately 26 inches, a shoulder width of 33 inches and a hoop height standing at 17 inches. You have six tabs for pegging out, four at the corners and two with the pole. These storm flaps ensure that the zippers are sealed and protected from any water. And opening the storm flaps, we are met with an L-shaped opening for ease of access. On the underside of the bivy, you have straps to accommodate a roll mat. I believe it's the M90 roll mat designed to go with this bivy. Not entirely necessary though, as there is ample room within this bivy bag to accommodate your entire sleep system. The Dutch Army hoop bivy is developed from a Gore-Tex material, making it waterproof, windproof, and vapor permeable. In fair weather, you have the option of accessing some visibility along with keeping the bugs out with this mosquito net. Also adds to additional ventilation. Now, if you don't want to make use of the mosquito net, it's easily rolled up and stowed away. Quick note on the Dutch Army Hoop Bivy, it's been manufactured by two different companies, Fexa and Corinthia. As far as I'm aware, the blueprints are the same, but the build quality may be better on the Corinthia in terms of the zippers more so than anything else from what I've managed to obtain. Though our shelter is set up, our bivy is set up, and now we just await the rain. I'm out here testing a couple of other products also. One of them requires fuel, so let's go and get some. The wind is starting to pick up a bit and uh, we got a little bit of drizzle right now but we still got a good couple of hours before it's supposed to come down nicely. G2 folding firebox stove is one of the products we're testing out today. So let's get this set up and see what it's all about. So immediately I like the fact that it's not a puzzle piece stove. I can't stand those puzzle piece stoves. Simply fold it down and you're good to burn. But first impressions, I like it.
so the rain has arrived now it's begun we're just gonna chill out and check on the hoop bibby as the evening wears on talking about the two manufacturers fexa and corinthia this is a fexa version uh, personally i've never had any issues with the zips or anything else for that matter it could all be to do with how you treat your kit if you treat it well treat you well that old adage So update, it's been raining or more like a monsoon for the past couple of hours. I don't dare open that bivy bag up just yet. Gotta wait for it to ease off and then we'll take a look. So quick update, it's been raining for the past two and a half hours, solidly, heavily. There's no way I'm going to open up that bivy bag, just going to let it water, so I'm going to wait for it to ease off before we do that. apricot oat biscuits not a fan of apricot but I like apricot oat biscuits another quick update still raining it's been about three and a half four hours now and it's just occurred to me that I may be in for a bit of a predicament because I haven't brought a backup sleep system so if there is any leaks any water getting in there my sleeping bags just getting wet and I, I've got nothing to replace it with. Foolish. So the rain has eased up now, not entirely, um, but it's the calmest it's been for most of the afternoon, evening. So we're gonna go and uh, check out the damage, if there is any damage before we chow down on some dinner. Uh, this is the other product I'm testing out here today, the V6 by Frunite. So we use this to see if we can see any signs of water. So we have puddling here. So this puddling on your average bivy bag would normally spell trouble, so let's see what it spells with the Dutch Army group. Oh, and it spells... wet. But it's wet only where the puddling developed, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you couple up bivvies with tops. And that also is why I should have brought a spare sleep system. Because now we're going home. So up here is dry for the most part. This is just rain that's fallen on it where I've opened it up. You come down here, all this puddling developed and you can see it's just drenched. So I'm not gonna strike camp right now, get it all back in the bag and then put it on my back to walk through this dark, wet, slippery forest. We'll save that for the morning where we'll come back, examine it a, a bit further, and then we'll have a talk about it. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, uh, yeah. We got quite a bit of flooding. This is fun. You know, I think we're gonna get wet anyway. I mean, booty bags wet, sleeping bags wet. We'll try not to get wet, but uh, I think it's going to happen. I think I think the boots, the boots are next. Hmm. 
Bound to happen. <clears throat> really do kind of need to build some bridge over there. So I've been out in the rain in this bivvy bag in some unexpected downpours and it's never leaked. So let's take a look at some factors. So prior to the rain test, the last time I used this bivvy bag, I washed it afterwards. Now, I don't think that had an effect on it because the top raised area here did not leak. There's no abrasions, no punctures, no damage whatsoever. Ultimately, I think it all comes down to the puddling. When you have that much puddling sat on any material, it's going to leak. The reason it hasn't leaked on me like that before is because I've been inside the bivvy bag. Being inside the bivvy bag, it raises the roof as such and it allows that slope and the rainwater to run off. So it did not fail because it's a bad piece of kit. It failed because it was underwater. <laughs> 